Howdy campers, welcome to your 23rd Node.js tutorial and in this video we're going to have a quick introduction to Express. Okay then, so Express is one of the most popular Node packages on the internet and that is for good reason. First of all, it has a really easy and flexible routing system we can use. Secondly, it integrates with many templating engines really easily which is great when it comes to crafting front ends to our applications. And thirdly, it contains a middleware framework, which other node packages can plug right into and extend. And we're going to take a look at all of these three things as we work our way through this playlist. So let's take a quick look at Express in action. Okay then gang, so I'm back in app.js, but as you can see, I've deleted all of the code in here. And that's because we're going to start afresh with Express and we're going to create an Express app. So I've already installed Express a couple of tutorials back, but if you've not done so already, all you have to do is come to the terminal, type npm install express, and then if you want to save this in your package.json file as a dependency, go ahead and do hyphen save, then click enter. That's going to install it for you. I've already done it. So then when you've installed it, it's going to appear in your node modules down here somewhere. There we go, express, cool. So. The first thing we need to do to use Express is to require it in our code. Because at the end of the day, Express is just a module written in JavaScript, which we can use in our application. So we know how to do that. We just say var, then we'll call this variable Express, and set it equal to require, and then in here, pop the module name, which is Express, and Node.js is clever enough to go out and grab that module and return it to us right here. Okay. So we now have access to this module, but what we need to do first is set up what's commonly known as an Express app. And that way we get access to all of the functionality that Express comes baked with. Now to do that, we just store it in a variable and commonly it's called app. And then we set this equal to Express and then fire it because what's returned to us module.exports in this module is a function. So we go ahead and fire that function right here and then we have access on this variable to all of those different methods on Express, which help us with things like routing or setting up template engines. Okay, so we also need to listen to a port much like we did before. So to do this in Express, we just say app.listen and then we give it a port number. Now I'm gonna say 3000. So now we're listening to port 3000. So in this code so far, we have our Express app running right there. And now we're listening to a port. But how do we respond to requests? Well, when we set up this app variable, we're given access to a variety of methods on it that can help us respond to requests. And these methods all correspond to the types of requests being made. They're what's known as HTTP verbs or methods. So HTTP methods are essentially the kind of requests we make. For example, a get request, which is what we made when we type a URL into an address bar, or a post request, which is generally made when we post some data to a server from say a web form, or a delete request, or a put request. These are all different HTTP methods or verbs, and they're the type of request that we make. Now, there's nothing actually that special about these different request methods. They're all just requests working in the same way as each other. It's just that each different type of request contains a specific piece of information attached to it to say to the server what kind of request it is. Then it's up to the server to look at what type of request it is and then treat that type of request in a particular way, however it sees fit. So, by using Expressing Node, we can respond to each of these different types of requests very easily. And the way we do that is by using the methods that Express provides us with. So to respond to get requests, we use the app.get method. Then we pop a route in and fire a function when we get that request. Same for post, it's just app.post. And for delete, app.delete and so forth. So for now, what we're gonna do is just stick to these get requests because this is what we've been doing so far. Typing a URL into the address bar and then getting something back from the server. And they're get requests. So that's what we're gonna take a look at for now. And we are gonna look at these other methods later in the playlist. So we're listening to a port now and we want to respond to a get request. And we've seen that we can do that by saying app 
dot get okay and then the first thing we pop in here is the route what is a user going to type in so that we can respond in this particular way and for now let's just do forward slash and then we're going to fire a function when a user requests this when they go to just the root directory and again this takes the request object and the response object as well but Express has extended these objects and added additional functionality to them. So anyway, when a user goes to this address, just forward slash, it's gonna fire this function right here and we can respond to it in a particular way. And what I'm gonna do for now is just send a string. So I can say response.send and then we'll just send it a string and we'll say this is the home page. okay? Cool, so now if we run this, and I'm gonna use Nodemon to run it. We installed that in the last tutorial. So Nodemon app.js. If we run this now, then view it in a browser. I'm just gonna to go to forward slash here. Then we're gonna get this string back. So Express has listened for this get request right here. And then when it receives that request, it's firing this function. And then on the response object, it's saying dot send. This is an express method and it's sending a string. And notice we've not specified the content type here in the headers. Express is clever enough to figure out what this is and do it for us. Okay. So let's set up another row. Let's copy that dude, paste it down here. And this time we'll say forward slash contact. And we'll say this is the contact page. Save that. And then let's go to forward slash contact. And now we get this is the contact page. Pretty cool, right? So you can see how much easier this is to set up a route than it was before when we didn't use Express. And don't worry for now about just sending strings. We're gonna look at sending HTML pages later on and other things like JSON. For now, I just wanna show you the bare bones of how Express is working. So. We required it first of all, the module. Then we set up our express app by saying app equals express and firing the function. Then we listen to a port, 3000, by saying app.listen. And then we set up our routes by saying app.get. And these are responding to get requests. And we responded to the forward slash request and then the forward slash contact request. When we did that, we fired these functions which take these request and response object extended by Express. And we use the send method on the response object to send a string. And Express identified that this was a string. There was no need for us to type in the content type. Okay then guys, so that's your quick introduction to Express. We are gonna take this much further over the course of the next few lessons. So if you have any questions so far, leave those down below. Otherwise, don't forget to share, subscribe and like guys, and I'm gonna see you in the very next video.